What's going on guys? I'm Aguilera. Welcome to Aguilera Shop. This is the White Rabbit Festival. This is the White Rabbit All Access. Come follow me. Let's go take a look at what's going on. Joining me now at this time is a very talented individual, a very personal close friend of mine, performing tonight for Viaje Nahual as part of the White Rabbit Festival, John Flores. John, what's going on? It's, it's going good, man. How are you? It's good, good. You know, I've known you for a long time. You're a very talented individual. Uh, what's, what are you expecting tonight? Um, I'm expecting a good time. Um, I'm really excited for tonight. We have a brand new song that we're going to play. We've never played it before, I don't think. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty cool. All right, I see. Uh, I got the name of it. I'm not going to say the name of it, but I do want. I do know what it is. Um, don't spoil it. No, I'm not going to spoil it. As far as the new song, um, tell us a little bit about it. What can we expect from this new song? Well, you know, uh, it has those great vibes that Viaje always brings. You know, that Latin uh, flavor to the uh, music, um, but also you know, like that that hard rock uh, influence. So, um, just, you know, just a good blend of those two things. Awesome, awesome. Now, we were here previously back in October for uh, Seamus Plug Festival. Now we're back here again. Uh, can you compare your two experiences thus far? Um, you know, with, with uh, both of those shows happening here at Ferguson's, they were both really cool. They were both really fun. Um, I'm, I'm having a great time. We haven't played yet, uh, but I imagine that when we play our set, you know, it's going to be even better than I'm feeling right now. Awesome. We're all looking forward to it. One last question for you. What is a conversation that musicians are not ready to have? Damn, that's a deep question. Um, I feel like what I what I see the most is that you can't just really rely on knowing that you are good. You have to still like practice a lot um, because at the day of the show you'll forget things. It's just gonna happen all the time. Um, getting to know your equipment is a cool thing because equipment fails um so yeah i think i think that's it seems very obvious but us musicians are very stubborn we don't like to do that we don't like to practice or mess with our equipment you know <laughs> oh I'm, I'm i'm with you there but john thanks for joining oh, me <laughs> i bring in, yeah <laughs> john thank you for joining me white rabbit all access Welcome back. Joining me now at this time, headlining tonight's Wide Rabbit Festival, Emerson. Hi. <laughs> what else should I say? Say whatever you want. <laughs> Joining me right now, this is Emerson. Tell us a little bit about your band. I've seen you guys perform once before. I don't really know a lot about you guys. Tell me a little bit about your band. Yeah, so we like to play all kinds of genres of music. Actually, the question like, what genre are you is very much the worst question that you can ask them. But about us, um, we kind of just make what we're passionate and we're each other's best friends. It's kind of just having like a bunch of siblings. They're people that I can always rely on. And I think there's there's a word called collective effervescence. And it means when you're in a space with a bunch of people and you're feeling the same emotion and you're there for the same reason. The goal of our music is to create a feeling of collective effervescence. So if I'm writing something sad, I want the audience to feel that. It's kind of like a feeling session and it's really fun to create with my favorite people and I love meeting so many talented musicians and um, playing with people that I've always looked up to. Awesome. I remember, uh, I think it was back at the space. I saw it Sunday morning for the first time and I was very amazed with you guys. You got, all you guys are very talented and I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot more. What can we expect for tonight? 
I mean, honestly, the usual. We're all very excited because we just came from prom. So it's, yeah, it's, it's some of our senior prom tonight. And so we're really excited for that. And we're just excited to really bring the energy and play. We've been wanting to play at Ferguson's forever. We were supposed to play for Halloween, but it, actually, it flooded because it was raining. So we played at Soul Belly. So we've been waiting to play on this amazing stage for a really long time. So just really high energy. We're super excited. I remember that night. It was a lot of heck things going on. I'm glad you guys are finally here. I've been here once before myself. A lot of vibes here all around. Yeah. Now that you mentioned, you were at prom. How was prom? Prom was all right. I can't lie. I was only there for like 10 minutes. Honestly, I just wanted to make an appearance. My feet hurt. Honestly, this is what I was most excited about for the night. Prom, you just kind of stand there, but there's nothing that I love more than performing. It, it makes me feel so happy, and all of the people that I care about are going to be here. So I'm very excited. See, when you love what you do, it doesn't really feel like work. It feels like you were meant no, to be it here. it doesn't feel like work at all. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. It's Wide Rabbit All Access right here. Anything you want to say to your fans, people who want to check out your stuff, maybe they haven't heard you before, what can you want to say to them? Hi. Um, I would say come on out and feel with us. All right, one last question. I've been asking people this. I'm going to see if I can get a direct answer about this. What is one conversation musicians are not ready to have? One conversation musicians are not ready to have... Maybe mm, that there needs to be more space for different genres in the scene. Vegas is very hardcore particular, and it's hard to find a show that plays with indie and lo-fi artists or anything that isn't hardcore. Um, so I think a lot of musicians are into gatekeeping a sort of genre, but I, I think it should be for everyone. And some musicians and bands that you'll talk to probably won't agree. <laughs> Music is for everybody. That's what we're just all, tonight's all about. Music is for everybody to enjoy, interpret it how you want. With that said, Emerson, thank you for joining me with Ride Rabbit Festival. Can't wait to see you perform tonight. Woo! Nice to meet you. Up here. Ah. Here we are at White Rabbit Fest. We're gonna surprise some uh, local uh, musicians, friends of ours. Let's go. Hello. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. I'm doing great tonight. We're right here with Daniel and Tierney. How are you guys? Cindy. And Cindy. Hi. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, Cindy's here too. What do you guys think of uh, White Rabbit Fest? I think at? it's wonderful. I think it was a great time so far and still happening. Uh, you know, Viaje Noir was good. Uh, you know, come on. Very, very rico suave. Oh my god. Yeah. What, fuck are they? what else? What else? Uh, sexy. Okay, what else? John is good. Yeah. I think it's getting too fucking heated tonight. It's it's, it's, it's getting fuego. No, Viaje Noir. Would you like, would you like to say some words about uh, how we did tonight? I, it was fun. I think we did amazing. Um, the sound is like way different where we're playing like indoors and then outdoors. But I think sure. I think we I think we yeah we did fucking good. we killed that. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think we killed that shit. Let's go. What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Si. Simon. Y luego. Y luego. What do you think about our set? I think, I think we killed it. I think it sounded good. Yeah. And and I don't know. Good vibes. It was good. I had fun. Did you have fun? I had fun. Yeah, it was fun. You had a, you had a good 420. Yeah, I, I, we did yeah, the we thing. Can we can we tell, did the bro. thing. We did the <laughs> thing. Here we are with Ricky, my bandmate from Viaje Noel. All I want to ask you, how do you feel about our set tonight? I think it was great. I feel comfortable. I think it was great. It was great. Uh, thank you, everyone that came here too. It was great. 
I agree. I agree. <laughs> it was fucking Duke. Hell yeah. Here we are for Fernando, percussionist for Viajen a while, my bandmate. Are you having fun? How did you feel about our set tonight? I felt I felt good about the set. I think we were locked in. Yes, you did a good job. We did a good job, huh? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think we did. How do you feel you did on your own instrument? I think I did good. I was tight in all the songs. <laughs> were you able to hear uh, the rest of us? No, I had no monitors. Oh, shit. Yeah, no monitors. What happened there? What is your name? For the music. My name is Noah Nichols. I'm a musician. I'm a keyboardist. Um, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I am recently going back to Colorado. Um, that's me. Oh, shit. You live out in Colorado. So I live in Las Vegas right now. Um, I'm very immersed in the music culture here. I oh, love wow. these guys. Everybody here, they're the best musicians I've ever met. They're what was your amazing. experience uh, today in the White Rabbit uh, Festival? White Rabbit Festival is amazing. Everybody here is so welcoming. Everybody here is so much fun. Nice. Um, oh, my God. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Absolutely. Fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hey, we're asking everybody uh, their experience of uh, uh, White Rabbit Fest. What was your experience here playing tonight at White Rabbit Fest? Um, it was great. It was it was absolutely great. Uh, that that just happened. So yeah, I uh, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, that was it. It's been great. White Rabbit's been absolutely amazing. You know. Now I know that you are a part of the uh, partners. And uh, you also played another band. Which part band is that? Uh, it would be Kings Kings. Kings Kings. They're very um, popular right now, even though it's a short time for them uh, forming. And now they're, like, really popular right now. Yeah, it's it, it it's kind of insane. I mean, the, the days are blurring by at this point. So, you know, I'm kind of just holding on. <laughs> I'm so glad for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, how was your set? How do you feel about your set tonight? It was good. It was, um, it was, I felt like it was pretty good. I was pretty intimidated, you know, by the stage and all. Dude, I was oh. too. Yeah. Everyone was, before Viaje yeah. did so good. I was like, you oh my it. God. Yeah. I mean, it's all the bands, you know, tonight. And unfortunately, I had to, you know, work kind of late. But as soon as I got here, you know, it was just great music from beginning to end. So. Yeah, Black Sheep Booking does uh, pick really good bands to play together. It's, yeah, it's it's insane. It Shout is out to Black Sheep insane. Booking. Shout out to Black Sheep Booking, you know. Thank you Shout very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go. Hey, you saw our set. Yeah, man, I've seen y'all say a bunch of times, like, man, eight if I'm counting shit, like. <laughs> hey. Hey, vive la viaje en Hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, man. Y'all my one of my favorite shows to see, man. I'm going to Interpool just to see y'all motherfuckers. Oh. See y'all on the big fucking stage. Hey. Y'all heard it here. Channel 5 News. Digo, Channel 3 News. We Channel out here. here. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah, man. <laughs> I fucking love y'all. Hey. hey, if you guys don't know yet, we're opening for Interpool on May 10th. I so. said it. Uh, hey yo, man! It, they're know? opening for Interpol, man. If you fuck with Interpol, if you fuck with Latin psychedelic, man, it's not a secret. Hey, man, know? come check it's this shit out, out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you like good music, Speak long viaje, bro. Yeah. Viaje. <laughs> bro. Hey yo, Woo. Woo. Hey, yo. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. We got Blue here. Um, what is your experience like uh, um, at the White Rabbit Fest? Uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, super fun and like the visuals, the sound, the vendors, all the people. Like, it's it's the whole experience. Hell yeah! What do you think about the music uh, choices that uh, Black Sheep Mo Booking uh, made for tonight? I love a lot of the the bands that came up. Um, definitely the patterns were on my list, and uh, Viaje and uh, King Fun and. I'm excited for the last band too, Sunday morning. They're always a good time. I just heard, uh, I just learned actually that they're in high school still. So they came from their prom. That's fucking cool. And they're so talented. It's like, damn. <laughs> I know. I wish I would have done that in my prom, dude. Like, go through my prom and then play a show later. Yeah, that would have been, been a nice prom. 
Yeah, thank you very much, Blue. Oh, oh, oh well, you, she left me hanging. You saw that? She left me hanging. All right, guys, joining me now at this time, we've got this very special guest from Midnight Picnic here in Las Vegas. Steffi Blue, what's happening? Yo, what's up? I previously met you at the Vena Costera. You're doing your thing. I was there doing my thing. Tell us a little bit about, what you, about who you are and what you do here in the, for the Las Vegas scene. Uh, yeah, so I run a music journalism blog for that covers only local bands. Uh, it's called Midnight Picnic. And um, yeah, we I post uh, articles, reviews, kind of like uh, upcoming shows and uh, interviews with bands as well. So awesome! I've like, I've gotten a taste of what you're doing so far. Doing a lot of good things for the for the Las Vegas music scene. A lot of positivity. Where would you like to take Midnight Picnic moving forward? Um, I really just want to like kind of document the scene because there's been a lot of amazing bands coming through Vegas and like uh, I just want to highlight how talented and awesome the people are here and just like the the overwhelming support and I think we need just more community to come in and like you know help us bring and elevate all of the all of the bands here into like the spotlight because yeah they definitely deserve it. I would agree. I want to try to really elevate everybody. You know, if, if we all, if we can all help each other. We can all make this scene better than what it is already. Now, with that said, what, what would you like the scene to, to look like? like if, if it was your perfect vision, your your sight, what would the scene look like? Um, I think it's just more proliferation because um, there's a lot of bands, but some of their sounds are kind of all over the place and we have different scenes. I'd kind of like for us to be a little bit more united and kind of like not just everyone like go to what they like, but like everyone go to like everything else and kind of get like a, a view of what Vegas has to offer because we're not just, you know, one thing. We're just we're multitudes of, of things. And so I'd love to just see people like show up and support and uh, like you know kind of see like a lot more bands you, uh, not be coming. afraid to kind of just like this push the boundaries of what they want to do absolutely you see that go to show support because you, know, you know we're all trying to elevate ourselves we're all trying to be somewhere trying to get to the next level so for those who want to see what you're all about and follow your journey where can they follow you where can they find you you can follow me on instagram at midnight picnic or, or midnight picnic lv uh, and you can also, we have a WordPress blog, uh, we've been working on the site, um, but yeah, I have a lot of articles posted up there if you'd like to read about uh, local bands and kind of just like, if you wonder what it's like, like what these bands are like or like, or what they sound like, um, yeah, we have a lot of good posts about their, what they sound like and their spotlight and um, yeah, a little bit, get to know the bands personally. We have it, thank you very much for joining me. There it is, White Rabbit All Access. See y'all.